I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty puppy, Buddy. We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle, a catamaran we bought, renovated, and learned to sail on after I had a life-changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis. Subscribe, welcome aboard, and enjoy the ride. Hugging the old pooch. Right, I'll let you get back on Jeff's soul in a minute, guys. I just wanted to jump on here and tell you about Magic Mind. I've been gifted this. If you watch our episodes, you'll see at some point before or after this, the whole rigmarole has been trying to get these. Nothing to do with the product. The product's great. It's just very hard getting packages while you're traveling. Anyway, these are meant to be amazing. I've heard a lot about them. They're full of nootropics and antihistamines, like they're good for your immunity. They're full of adaptogens and they're good for your concentration. It actually says seven hours, steady energy, reduced stress, focus and mental clarity, benefits building daily. Sounds fantastic. I am way behind meddling, guys. I'm always like this by the end of the season. This is my winter, winter bit. I've got about 23 episodes to try and catch up and make. I don't know if you realise how much work that is. It's huge. I need these, guys. I really need them. So here we go. I'm going to I'm gonna take them for like, well, until I run out, I've got like a pole box full. And I'm going to take you on the journey with me. And you can see it, actually if they work or not. Let me just, oh, oh, they smell amazing. Like kiwi, citrusy. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that smells I'll nice. I'll put all the details for these in the description below, guys. So if you're interested, you want to get some, you know, follow the description in there, there'll be all the details about them and how to get them. Oh, wow. They are good. Oh, my God. Mmm. Follow this journey with me, guys. And I'll let you know if they actually work or not. Fantastic. Oh, I like that first one. Back to me editing. Hopefully, even better. Day three. I actually think it makes a difference. I had a few days off because my back's been bad, but I'm back on it and editing, and this stuff seems to, yeah, make me hyper-focus and get on and get stuff done. So, looking good. I'll keep you posted. Magic Minds, guys. <laughs> These, Magic Mind, guys. Um, it's got 12 active ingredients, and it's actually um, made to help improve mood, stress, give you energy. And I was dubious, like, you know, but... I've taken a few days now and yeah, you know what? I think I'm quite focused. I feel focused. I feel I feel good. I feel I do feel good. And I'm editing well. My editing's going well. So yeah, I think it's making a difference. Weirdly, it's crazy, isn't it? But you know what, guys, this might be worth a go. Up to you, but if you want to find them, hit the link below. So I've had a few weeks in the UK, winter time. I've just been editing and catching up on stuff. Um, kids have been in school and all the usual. But this stuff, guys, has really made a difference, I think. I've shown you it. I've done a little diary. Magic mind. There we go, guys. It's got some of those leading, really popular ingredients at the moment that helps you concentrate, de-stress. I reckon it helps you like not plateau or have the big crash like you get after a caffeine. Um, yeah, this matcha stuff is like the new thing for like a caffeine type, um, energising thing to keep you up for the day. The card, information card you get with it is really good. It tells you all this stuff. You can have a look at the ingredients and what they do and how they help you. It's definitely been a be beneficial product. Obviously, this 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 card I've, I've trialled for this company. Um, I don't think 14, 15 days is enough to say if it's life changing, but I mean, it's meant to help you with like weight loss and it's definitely made me feel energized and focused, sleep well. I, I think it's a good product. I think it's definitely worth giving a go and I am actually going to invest in another box and I might, you know, tell you how that goes too. But for now, guys, this is really great stuff. I'm on my last one, sadly, but I'm going to have it. I'm going to get on with the last couple of episodes that I need to finish before I go back to the boat and uh, yeah, enjoy the episode. See you next week. And if you fancy getting to yourself some of this magic mind and trying it out for yourself, all the codes, all the discount codes, all the information, all the website is in the description below, guys. Give it a shot. You might love it. And thank you, Magic Mind, for the opportunity to try your product and show it to all my amazing followers.
Oh, no. There's just so many fish in this bay. I think it's this bay. Jump the fish, look at the fish. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. All right, chill out. I can see the baby trumpet fish. Oh, buddy, can you see the fish? Can you see the fish? Oh, my gosh, on the surface. That is so cute. I think there's a big fish down there, maybe, trying to chase away. But this, this. I've never been okay, in an anchorage. We just had so many baby fish. Our boat, buddy, is shrounded and it's driving the dog mad. It's dying. Yeah, that baby fish is dying. I think it's boat brothers. No, it's not. It's, it's in the Anyway, there's thousands and thousands of fish. It's just so many. It's crazy. They're absolutely everywhere. You just have to swim through the ball. Oh, no, it's a bit freaky. It's so, the only place it was like this, though, do you remember that big cave we got out and, and swam in, a really deep one? I got stung by that box jellyfish. Oh, we did have many of these, did it? It had lots of swarms, not swarms, shoals, sorry, shoals of baby fish like this. But this is like, yeah. Oh my god, I almost caught it. A bit extreme. It's very it's cool. Crazy. It's probably a shoal of sardines. Oh, is that where they're coming? <laughs> Where are they? They're running like a lot. Oh no, they're getting chased. Oh no, they're getting chased. <laughs> It's just big fish. Big, big fish is on the hunt, look. Oh, buddy, can you see it? Can you see the fish? Can you see the fish? No, I'll get in. I want to get in. I get in. Yeah, get in. Do you see them fishes? Go on then, buddy. In you go. In you go. Here you go, then. Get the fishies. Get the fishies. Where are they? <laughs> that makes you. <sure. laughs> oh, buddy. Is the fish about it? <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. Catch it. You have to put your mask down and catch it. Buddy, get in. If you want to get a fish, get in. You can't cry and not get in. Get in. Why Go on, do it with my bare hands. That's just caught a fish. It went out. Oh, my God. Fishy wishies everywhere. I know. I know. Let's swim about, yeah. You should just go for a swim, buddy. Stop being a wuss. Just go swimming. I can't believe I picked a baby fish up. Just go for a swim, you'd love it. So, yesterday we had a great walk. You come with us, didn't you? And then we come back, and then me and the kids swim all the way across the bay and back. Bit of exercise. Although I, think I drank there back mostly because it didn't um, it didn't do much swimming back and we got a bit tired. Okay, if I stay still, I'll we did loads of diving and snorkeling. Oh, I did masses of editing, fish. which is good. Although uh, the episodes are piling up. I think I'm about right. twelve behind now. I've got to make. But anyway, I downloaded loads loads of my footage, which I don't do enough. So I haven't got enough internet. I, 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 it should do it itself should be on all my Apple devices but because I haven't got internet it, that doesn't work so I have to like download it all and today well what have I got planned today well, they look like I'm going to do some droning I need to practice using a drone not good enough 
and let me increase the money I can get. Buddy! Buddy! I'm going to go pedal him. And definitely some more. Anchorage, man. Let me show you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at them in their orange cells. There's a fishing. And that's hard to see over there. And that's their other name, Bro, over there. Beautiful! That is beautiful! Did you like flying your drone? Yeah, I loved it. Do you like it? You're both really good. I think you're better flying and you're better at the footage. Getting foot, good footage. I've got good footage. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to like piece together little bits of your guys' footage and mine and yeah. we'll see what we get. I see. And she's, she's better. So, the um, drone footage this episode, guys, is from us. So if it's not as good, that's because it's us, not Chris's. <laughs> a bit different this episode. And I, and I landed the drone. Yeah. We're playing chess. You're playing chess, yeah. And I'm going to go pedal boarding. Yeah. Good luck. Two wins. Yeah. I'm about to go swimming. And I put some strong cream on to get my hood and my beard. <laughs> my son's hair will come out with a black mask on. <laughs> but look how great mum looks, guys. Hey, watch out. You stood right in front of the camera. I just got stuck. Hi! Hi! Hello! Matching the paddleboard. Yes. Take it with you. Don't go. <laughs> I feel very wobbly actually. Do you? Oh. I haven't been on it in a long time. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Sun cream in between my legs. been pulled from the tender all the way from out there and I was I dived down and went underwater 
for like ages. A bit out of breath now, but Bear's gonna go. It was the funniest thing I've ever done. It was like being an underwater jet ski or something. It was so cool, but I was going about five knots. It's so hard to hold on though. That's what I was doing, but really, really deep down. Honestly, it felt like you were going faster than that. It felt like you were going about 25 billion knots, but actually, by the looks of it, you're not. How cool is that? <laughs> Buddy had a swim. Four swims, actually. Two of them were accidental. One of them was on purpose. Mum's gonna get pulled, look, so far, all the way over there, and climbed along rocks and swam and been pulled and held my breath a lot. I am absolutely starving, I can feel my stomach rumbling. You hungry? Benny, want a snack? Mum's gonna have a go. It's harder the way they're doing it. so cool because when you go under you can see the propeller spinning oh slowly but she's on her breath a long time it seems to be easier holding your breath when you're being pulled for some reason guys i don't know why i couldn't be recorded being pulled underneath the tender because I, we were all out there so sorry about that look how far out they're going look Orange pea, let she turns around. <laughs> That's what I was doing. How fun's that? Not slow. Heavy you are, and slower it is. Oh my god, it's awesome! How good is that? Oh, 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 yeah, I know, it's so fun! <laughs> There's this thing on the. I, really love this the I know, it's so much easier to hold your breath! Because it's so much fun! Yeah. Get yeah. Oh, Dad's gonna pull the what are we doing today? We're sailing on. What have we done this morning? So we swam across our bay for all like 20 over of there, time. And then so all fun. the way back. So fun. We did a bit of diving down, we found some gulpers and everything. Yeah, I found speedos. I'm like one of those. Uh, Eagle eyes. Yeah, no, she was fine. I find so many masks and goggles, unbelievable. Straight past. And no one's there about it. I swam all the way from observing. Speedo eagles. goggles I found. And the other day I found an exceptionally expensive mask, one dive one mask. One that was worth about 80 or 90 quid I found. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll give it Bear. And Mum let me have it. Way better than mine. I should have kept it for myself, but I'm nice like that and Bear wanted it, so Bear has it. <laughs> you got food around your choppers, mate. He just finished his lunch, coming out here to show you goggles and he's got food running his choppers and he's going to wipe your mouth. And I got the rope off, well actually mum had to come over because in the rock there was like a crack that went in like that and I couldn't get the rope off. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't go to the other rocks and pull it out. Like me? Yeah. And there's loads bit of, of initiative. Millions. That's, uh, that's age for you. Yeah. Gives you a little bit more initiative. And the gold noggin sucks noggin. my noggin. Noggin. Common sense. Yeah. And before that we walked the dog on the beach over there. And, yeah. and since this morning, which there was just literally us and another boat, there's like loads of little boats have come we in. Can, look. I think. Loads of boats, Sunday, so lots of charter boats are out. So we we'll probably have a problem when we get to the other end finding somewhere, but we might not. We'll see. Yeah. So we're going to go out today. We are here. We are going to go across the bay over here. I don't know where yet because I've got absolutely no signal. I've had no signal for days. Can't, sorry about the line. Black line. So over here somewhere. I don't know where. Once I get out there and I get a phone signal, I'm hoping somewhere I'll be able to get a navelly and look for anchorages. But yeah, somewhere pretty. We're heading towards a little marina over there where we're going to go in and get water at some point in the next few days because we're running out. So that's it, guys. No wind at the moment, but there's definitely a little bit of a breeze out there and it should materialise this afternoon. So, fingers crossed. Get some yeah. sailing, All right, speedo choppers. <laughs> Oh, isn't it? 
Montenegro. Sand in here. Land on both sides. Yeah, really misty. We're motor sailing, guys, because the winds are so light. So we've just about reached the island and um, we just got home it's a bit late on in the day so we just got home we'll find somewhere to actually anchor and maybe tie on or maybe not, I don't know. Hopefully we don't have to tie on. Fingers crossed guys, Fingers you crossed. can come and have a look, see what happens. And it's super beautiful here as well. Hopefully this never be stress free, hopefully. Hello Dobby. <laughs> it keeps laying on there in the shade while we're sailing which is all great but it's pushed the window through again. Oh, I seriously. I don't know if you guys remember, but this is a real pain in the ass. Hang on, I'll show you. You just can't get the window back in. It's a nightmare and he's pushed it out. Oh, buddy. Look, he's laying on it. What's up? What's up? He does not care. No cares in the world. It, it gives no shits. <laughs> What's up? Does not care. Oh, he's looking now. He's like, what have I done? What have I done? He's like, why are you looking at the window? Look, he's sniffing the window. Like, why are you yeah, looking at it? <laughs> I'll be up, be hours and hours, and me and Daddy sweating our asses off in the blowing sunshine trying to get the bugger back in with spoons. <laughs> oh, this anyway. guy's is going from about 100 odd metres down to about four and a half here. Oh my god. So, uh, hold on tight just in case we, uh, actually it's wrong and we, uh, round because then you all go flying off. Oh, lovely. As always, we're close to shaving to land. Yeah. And I'll Oh my god, mum says she's assuming we can go through here. It doesn't even mean we can. Bloody hell. I'm sure we can. You can see how shallow it goes there. Oh yeah. You can definitely see the bottom here. Sweet little lighthouse there. And as always, we're shaving very, 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 very closely to the rocks. It wouldn't be picking if we weren't close to the rocks. Oh, there's two little buildings there, look. Don't know what they are. Cute though. What? He thinks we've seen dolphins. He always goes mental when we see dolphins. He's like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? See bottom. What are you looking at? 7.4 meters. Oh god. Yeah. We're gonna pin whatever you call it when you go down, duck down. Oh it's jellyfish! It's a jellyfish. <laughs> I hate jellyfish. Six meters. Five point nine meters. Oh bloody hell. Five seven. Oh my god, it's gorgeous here. Look at this. Stuck around five seven, Mum said. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so sweet. Look at that. Look. It's like a little church thing. And then there's another one there. Like little fortresses on the side. Look how close we are. Touch it. Five meters. Well, I think they were fishing following us the whole time. I think. We're going to tie it on. Can't see it. To that tree. It should be really cool because we've never tied on to a tree before. It's two meters. It's two meters. This looks like the Balearic Sea, that really shallow, like yeah. almost silty. I remember when I could only dive down to me. I've just gone down 15. Through there. It's actually Where's stunning. The in here. I don't know if you killed it. So I'm watching for death as always. Hello! I'm on my party right now. My dad is stopping in. Stick it in! There you go. There, the superstar is going to let more chain out. Mum is helming. I'm stood here doing absolutely nothing because it's recording. <laughs> and Dad is dropping the rope. Actually, tell lie, I was watching for death. Wow, look at this. Hey, actually. There's feeding the rope out the tender where we left it. And Dad is very slowly. When he gets the end, what is he doing? Having a nice leisurely swim whilst we're getting blown the flip over. Guys, I don't know why he does it. Anyway, we're going to tie on. Is it that tree we're tied onto? That tree that's by the rocks? Also, look how pretty mum's neck bleed is. It's really nice. You need it round here. It's really cool fucking tree, doesn't it? Yes, 100%. That is climb up there to tie onto the tree. That's right. 
I am not diving in. Okay. I've never seen anything quite like this. Look, these are giant sea urchins, massive ones. Look, there, 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 there. Yeah. Yes. Time, time. Time out. I can't do this. Uh... Two plates. Two plates. That's a lot of chain. That's going to go, remember? The guys have to be careful doing that. Put it back where it is. Don't me so they can see what I'm saying. You're going to have to do that to get ranked out your hands. Do it safely. Do it Most sure. boats don't have these, boys. Right, and I should not pull it in. Oh, I don't want to do that, do I? Do you want me to do it? You need to put bridle on the car like that, do you? Fair enough, you wouldn't, yeah? Yeah. That means, John. Yeah, you won't like it here if it's fucking... We need like... to somehow get pulled over there. It won't be hurt. It's like two metres deep. And it's like sea urchins sent to yeah. that big, long, horrible bastard spine. Anyway, guys. This is where we are. Got a nice breeze coming over there and we're covered from the swell so we've got no swell coming in from out there and there's pretty islands all around us so it's beautiful apart from these huge sea urchins down there we have great big long spines we try and get some footage for, of them for you they're everywhere so definitely won't be jumping in here yeah, we'll be getting in carefully but yeah it's pretty the islands are pretty cut walk all the way along it look it's cool man love it Going on is definitely not our strong point, guys. Seriously. We can manage, but it's not. We do it, but it's always so stressful. Some some of us get more stressed than others. And um, yeah, you need to be quick. Some are. Some of us are. So we're a bit slow at it, and then this boat blows over, and then you get the mask over the line when I'm rather shorter. But it's alright, we're tied on, it's very pretty. I quite like the little wind that's just suddenly arrived just when I was trying to tie on, which is typical. But at least I'm cool when I'm doing it, and I'll be cool later on. Exactly. So, you know, guys, not a bit about Sal, not about Anchorage, it's very pretty. I try and do some droning, and I will show you those crazy sea animals. Spines are like this big! This reminds me a bit of Dr. Nicker. It's very really pretty. For a backdrop, I mean, look at these mountains. Buddy can hear that dog. <laughs> yeah, really pretty. Let's go and investigate those little buildings, I think. And that's the first fishing boat We've I've seen. seen in Turkey. We were literally saying last night about how we haven't seen one fishing boat, and yeah. there one is. There we go. Prince and End our wonderful day. We have a wonderful sunset. Honestly, I wish you guys could see the sunsets, what they were really like, because that looks so dull and boring, but actually it's like such a rich red, it's crazy. And yet you can't really see it. It's absolutely beautiful. We've still got a lovely breeze, nice sea breeze, so it's not too hot. I can even wear clothes. And there's a jellyfish there. If I'm right, they're fried egg jellyfish or something like that and they don't sting, but they're still terrifying because they're jellyfish. Anyway, it looks like something at like Star Wars look. Wonderful. Can't be a beautiful sunset. You okay? You okay? He's got freckles, look. He's got freckles in his nose. Aww. Pink buddy's tired. and not sleep much today because it's so hot. I'm tired. Yeah. Oh, look at his little face, guys. Don't you just want to give him a kiss? <laughs> anyway, bye bye to the sun, which is soon to be gone. I'm watching it slowly disappear. Gone. That's so crazy that you can just watch it disappear. And then it's like a whole 12 hours without it. It's so cool. It's so cool. 
so cool. Honestly, guys, this reminds me of Montenegro. I don't know if you've been, some of you have been with us long enough. But in one of our old episodes, we were in like this lake bit of Montenegro when we first went to it. It looked a bit like Switzerland, the water was ice cold. And we tied on to the shore. And this reminds me of it. I don't know why, but it just really does, especially with that backdrop there. I think it's because when we looked out in front of us, that was like the backdrop there. It's just super beautiful. I love places like this with a giant mountain. You've got a little town down there, look. It's just magical. I love it. Love, love, love. And dog's going crazy. What? Buddy. My hatch doesn't say shut anymore. The dog is in the shoe. The Cressy shoe that holds it open. Stop stealing it! Keep my window open! Get your face! 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 No. 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 It's going into my legs and everything now. You're not having it. You're not having it. No. It's not yours. It's mine. This is mine. Oh god. It's quite the deck now. It's not yours. It's mine. There's been a. We've, we've, a I don't know why it's not come from Apple phone, but he's just got come out. It's just an Android mine. earthquake alert. Estimated five on the Richter scale. Literally. Literally where we well, are. Well, look, I'm that's, that's where it's showing here. And our blue dot is us. That's us. Hell. But I think there's a finger of land that goes down there. And I think it's the other side. We can't zoom in and we'll have to look into it in front of it. I think um, it's the other side because. It's got to be the other side. What? The water is retracted quite a bit. Yeah, but. But not enough. Like if there was going to be a really big wave, it'd be near. It'll be the other now. side. Like nearly half an hour ago. That's quite scary. That is scary. In fact, we didn't know. We didn't know. see. We, we didn't. He says, "Did you feel it?" And I said, "No, I didn't." But we won't feel it on boat. You'd only feel it on land. Yeah, you won't feel it sitting here. We mm. won't feel it. That's a big one. That's so close. That's probably. Oh, I've got ghost pimples. Yeah, so have I. I've got ghost pimples, guys. Wait, Shaking? Uh, no, not unless it was big. There, you might have felt it. Yeah. See it. That, that Make were, um, sure it. See it. Shaking. Nine kilometres from Marmaris. It's literally probably about within 20 miles of us. That. That's crazy. It's literally just the opposite side of that land. There's land. There, there, and it's the opposite side of it. Yeah. Why well, there's I'm many, there. there's many oh, boats oh, tied oh, up there, so it's fine. We'll be fine. Look. I got that, I got a notice on top of my phone. Well, the plan I is, guys, if, if anything terrible suddenly happens, or there's another one, or it's on oh, this no, side, look, or near that's us. That's a better one where we are, look. Then we'll just What's let that line go. Look, yeah, see, safe for not being alone, attacked. You can't zoom in. You can? You can't. Anyway, I'm recording. Oh, right, we have just thought about this, and we both. Yeah. And me. And. Since we've been sailing in the last couple of years, right? Last five years, yeah. We have experienced uh, a volcano erupting. So we couldn't visit the island. We went to like South Pass. That was volcano. That was off of Sicily. It erupted as well. You could see it all smoking out. You could. You could see it. But we, we didn't go. Because it wouldn't let us. Floods. There was flash floods. Two. We were actually in. We were in the middle of that one. <laughs> that was scary. There was tornadoes. That's free. Many, many tornadoes. We've seen several, yeah, quite a lot of tornadoes. And extreme. We've been in some extreme, extreme lightning strikes when they've hit the water around us. Yeah. Also, that really crazy strong wind in Venice, remember, yeah. it come from nowhere. That. That was like one of and rolled videos. down on top of us like we were going to whip us away and kill us all. Fine. And then we was in wildfires this year when we were in crazy 50 plus <laughs> degrees heat. I was shrounded in an anchorage in a wildfire and couldn't leave because it was crazy winds. And getting choked Seven. by the smoke. It was like... And now we find ourselves within literally a few kilometres of a earthquake. That's eight. Five on the Rick scale, which actually is not that bad. So, Chris just informed me. Eight. No, it's, it's not great, but it's not. Eight. It's not. 
But, but the difference between five and six is like humongous. Oh, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, six is, is devastating. So that's crazy, isn't it? Guys, do you think? What do you think? That's the experience you get in like a little time of travelling. That's a lot of life experience right there, isn't it? Yeah. Eight. It's not just like you learn about culture, you literally learn about the earth the, as you go. Yeah, and Turkey, believe it or not, um, geographically, the entirety, the entire territory of Turkey is on fault lines. And they have like thousands, Thousand. thousands of earthquakes every year. I don't know if you guys know or watch much news or stuff, but like there was a really big one at the beginning of this year in Turkey. Or actually, it was a Turkey Syria border, and there was like 50,000 Turkish people killed. 50,783 Turkish people killed. 297 are still missing. There was hundreds of thousands injured on top of that. There was 245,000 homes destroyed. There was huge amounts of damage. Apartment blocks getting... Yeah, like it was bad. There was millions of people, millions of people affected. You know, so Turkey do suffer with these earthquakes. Let's just hope, guys, keep our fingers crossed that we don't experience any big ones. And we, because uh, we actually sound in that way in the next couple of weeks. So, so let's... we don't get hit by a tidal wave. Yeah, no, no tsunamis, please. No tsunami. I don't think there's ever been a tsunami in the Mediterranean, though, has there? I don't know, Google it. Let's definitely not experience England. the first one. There hasn't been. But England. you know what? If we do, I'll take you along with me. Until then, guys. Have fun. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah.